What advice do you have for people who perhaps are kind of making these mistakes and, and not feeling like they can recover for it? Do you have a strategy you use for yourself when you have made a decision that you feel may not have been the best one for your business, but it's already done? Well, you know what? We've made tons of mistakes, like I said. So you really have to look at the bright side on every single situation. There always is a bright side, no matter how bad the mistake is. And there's been countless entrepreneurs that have gone bankrupt numerous times over and still became successful. And it's that fighting back that really marks the uh, the value of a true entrepreneur is the, that ability to come back and come back stronger despite the fact that you made a huge mistake. And, and then you didn't have any strategy kind of starting up. You kind of went with the flow with what worked. But how has that shifted today? Do you kind of change how you think about the future of Jason? Absolutely. You know, obviously starting the business, you don't know where the business is going to take you. And as your environment changes, as circumstance changes, you, your strategy changes. Right now, we're a little bit more structured now where we do have a strategy moving forward. We do look forward to, you know, opening more doors and opening uh, more boutiques around the world and just really developing the brand. Whereas, you know, in the past when you were doing it, you really were going from transaction to transaction and not really thinking that far ahead. Now we do think further ahead. But like I said, the environment dictates the changes ahead. So right now, our path is clear. We want to open doors and kind of really grow the brand. So when you think about growing the brand in the next 10 years, are you still looking for more retail locations? Is that kind of the, the strategy of the business is to continue the retail footprint? Absolutely. We're looking to continue the retail footprint and open up in key markets and really expanding the brand to different markets worldwide. And, you know, today is very different than it was 15 years ago. The world is much smaller. Communication is much easier through social media and the internet and all that. So, you know, what makes waves here in LA is also heard across across the globe as well. So I think it's made it easier for us when we do open in Hong Kong or Dubai or stuff like that, that people already know our brand. Right. So there's a lot more brand identity right from the beginning, and it makes it a lot easier for people to warm up to it rather than look at it as an outcast, even though it's new to that particular culture. Mm -hmm. So if you actually think about today's entrepreneurs, I'm sure you interact with a lot of people that are kind of what you were 12 years ago when you were kind of starting up. What are some of the suggestions or kind of advice you can give to people who today are attempting at starting their own business? The biggest piece of advice I would have to say is to not be afraid of failure and have self-belief. Too often do I see entrepreneurs start a business, whether it's a t-shirt business, a service business of any kind, and they're not successful right away and kind of give up. And it's like, it's that ability to fight back and that ability to think big and understand that there's something big on the, at the end of the rainbow. And just despite all the challenges, despite all the setbacks, is to keep fighting through it. And I think that's what really marks a great entrepreneur is somebody that's not afraid to make a mistake and really willing to push through. And, you know, it's easy to get discouraged by failure. It's easy to think that maybe you're just not good enough. But at the end of the day, you are. And I mean, that's the biggest thing is just to have that self-belief. And what is it that keeps you motivated throughout the days? I'm sure. I mean, you've reached a level of financial success above uh, normal and above the good level of what society deems to be successful. So what what is it that motivates you to kind of keep going or to continue to grow the brand? Well, there's at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who you are. There's always somebody that's doing it better and somebody that's bigger, right? It doesn't matter who you are. So I, we wake up every morning and we look at some of the big brands in this world, the ones that have been around for generations upon generations, and really looking to build and, and challenge ourselves to do something bigger and better. And that's really what drives me every morning when I wake up is that I know I drive from my house down to our office and we drive down Rode I drive down Rodeo Drive, not because it's the easiest route, but it's the best route for me. I like to see what other people are doing. I like to be motivated. So it really plays into that that it's important to be self motivated and every morning we you know, I challenge myself to think differently and come up with new ideas.